From small beginnings, much can be achieved, but it takes help, understanding, and above all, strength of character when you're a World War I veteran like George Stanton, who works with feathers down at Richmond's Star and Garter home for disabled ex-servicemen. Crippled with arthritis, yet George manages to obtain wonderful results which give pleasure to others and to himself. In his little private workroom, he fashions flowers and feather mounts, things of beauty created by diligence and craftsmanship out of the boxes of coloured feathers sent to him from all over the country. This is a tulip whose raw materials are feathers, wire and one man's courage. Now for the stem to which the stamens will be attached. The leaves are now bound on and soon George, who was born in Bromsgrove, will have finished yet another flower, another thing of beauty to delight the eye, a floral tribute to his own determination in conquering disability. The power to create butterflies and birds, too, lies within his crippled hands. There are many forms of beauty, not least that which lies in the brains and characters of men. Creation means life, a lesson George Stanton and men of his kind have long learned. Having learned it, may it continue to bring him the happiness he deserves.